first down carry by Jones. It's a six-yard pickup, but it gets him to second and four. Now, Brandon, that's the way you want to run the football. There should almost be quote bubbles above the offense right now. Bam, boom, biff. That's how they feel good about moving the football. Gets this to his running back, Aaron Jones. And he'll lose yardage on the play back at the 45-yard line. We'll call that a loss of a yard, and things get a little more difficult here. Third and five. The Cardinals on third down. They're hitting at 60%, six out of ten thus far. This will be third and five. And they'll get him down about three yards short of the first. That's going to bring up fourth down, only a gain of two there. He was out there waving his arms. I mean, you got a quarterback out of the pocket looking for any help. I guess waving the arms is helpful. It certainly is because you got to get his attention because now you're in scramble drill. So everyone's adjusting their routes, finding open space, and he found the right spot for the completion. Touchdown! have broken the tie. Well, that's a heck of a response to regain the lead after we had seen the touchdown to tie the game. I would say what we just saw there was a great amount of poise because typically when teams tie the game up, it's a little bit of a, how would you say, you kind of kind of take a step back and have to get yourself regrouped. They regrouped in a hurry, didn't they? They attacked back after they'd been tied. And in a big way, that was a statement-long touchdown. Extra point splits the uprights, and they will take a seven-point lead. Rodrigo Blankenship set to kick off. So after the touchdown, here's Blankenship kicking off. And he won't quite make it to the 25. At their own 24-yard line. The Chiefs offense and Tyreek Hill heading back out onto the field. And I know that they've double-teamed him a couple times, but not a ton. Whatever they're doing isn't working. He's up over 100 yards. We'll see how they adjust. And when they do that, they weaken their defense in other places as well. And how many times have we done games where we've seen a guy have a big game? And he can't find a receiver, and he's brought down. Khalil Mack bringing the pressure yet again. That's his third sack here tonight. And that's his third sack, and that ties a Super Bowl record. Makes me think of my old college teammate, Reggie White. He had three with the Green Bay Packers in Super Bowl 31. Darnell Dockett of Arizona, Super Bowl 43. And Coney Ealy. Three sacks for the Panthers against Denver in Super Bowl 50. All those sacks, they've only been an official record since Super Bowl 17. I know it's believed that L.C. Greenwood unofficially had four way back in Super Bowl 10. We're in those golden high tops as well. An important play right here, third and 10. And I would expect pressure here. Pressure comes and the Cardinals bring him down. Khalil Mack, make that now four sacks for him in tonight's ball game. My man, it's been a rough night for that offensive line, and it's only getting rougher. Five sacks now that they've given up in this contest so far. It feels like the witching hour out here, doesn't it? Okay, stupid question. What's the witching, witching hour? Yeah, the witching hour. That's when everything goes haywire late at night. 49-yard punt. Headline on the return. And the Cards will take over first and 10. The football going back over to Arizona now. And the tension ratcheting up all around. A one-score game, fourth quarter of the Super Bowl. This is what you folks came for. Every play with the potential to win or lose a title as they look to drain some time off this clock. Again, it's Jones. And he'll go down right around the 47 this time. That one, a first down pickup of eight. Well, they didn't accomplish their goal. They didn't get a stop there, gave up another first down. They have all three timeouts in their pocket. I think defensively, you got to start thinking about using them here. I was just going to ask you, at what point do you think now's the go time? I think now's the go time. I don't think you sit back and wait because they can take a lot of time off the clock between plays and run three to four and really put you in a stressful spot. Fourth quarter, down to the final two minutes, and we've got a one-score game. 
So the Cardinals, they've got the football here as we get your reset. They've got a second down now as they search for a way to get this one to the finish line. And now right out of the two-minute break, we'll get a timeout used defensively with a minute 56 to go. Not totally home free yet, but it's looking good as they come up first and 10. Now Murray on the move to his left. And that is incomplete. After what they faced during this game where they've given up a ton of yards downfield, it has to be a measure of revenge right there for the secondary. They've been shredded throughout the game and finally forced an incompletion. Now a second timeout called for by the defense as they'll talk it over here before what will be an important third down. They'll keep it on the ground. Jones, and he's able to pick up the first before he's taken down at the 27. The Chiefs quickly now going to use the last of their timeouts. And they'll be disappointed to have to burn one there after giving up the first down. They'll try and run some clock here as they keep it on the ground. And able to break through that initial contact and winds up getting about three there. It's second down. A three-yard pickup. They'll run it with Jones. And he'll get him inside the 15 down to the 14-yard line. After the run by Jones, here's first and 10. Going to give this time to the tailback. And he's across for the touchdown. And in the final minute, that should just about seal it. That almost looked too easy, and I think thanks goes to the offensive line for making it look easy. Yeah, I agree with you totally on that one. I'm not sure how much everyone understands the preparations that go into a game for an offensive line because there's a reason that running backs and quarterbacks give them big gifts at the end of the season after a big year. The oh, and now they're going to fake it. Down the numbers. There he goes. And he is into the end zone to bump the lead at two more. And that's something you almost never see nowadays. When you fake it, you're at the 15-yard line on a PAT as opposed to just going for it from the two. I'm sorry. I know they got it, and congratulations to them, but it's just not a good play. I mean, the, the risk-reward is really off the charts. Not in your favor. Run your offense out there. Put it on the two-yard line if you want to go for two. But I'll be darned. They ended up getting that one, didn't they? So after the touchdown, here's Blankenship kicking off. And this will make it into the end zone. And he'll decide to not bring this one out as their drive will begin at the 25. Patrick Mahomes in the offense. Down by 15. A little under 50 seconds to go. They've come so far this year, but they need two quick scores late in the Super Bowl. And he's going to be dropped following a pickup of seven past the 30 to the 32. And he'll look underneath here for Edwards Alaire. And he'll get it out near the 40 to the 39. Edwards Alaire. Working from the gun, Mahomes. And he'll swing this one out to Edwards Alaire. And the Cardinals have done it. They're the kings of the NFL. Arizona, your Super Bowl champs. 42. Chiefs, 27. And their remarkable season ends in the most remarkable of ways. They get to put next to their name, Super Bowl champion. And they can't ever take that away, can they? Nope. That lasts forever. So good to see the emotion when it's all said and done. You see the hugs. You see the guys sharing the collective happiness. Makes me want to carry you around a little <laughs> bit on my shoulders to celebrate the triumph. And congratulations to them. A fantastic season.
They are the Super Bowl champs. The Lombardi Trophy is theirs, and so are bragging rights for an entire season. What a season it has been. Feels like we have been there every step of the way. Our entire crew doing a wonderful job. Thanks to my broadcast partner, Charles Davis. For all those guys, I'm Brandon Gunn signing off. We'll talk to you next season right here on EA Sports. Thank you.